G'day, Josh Wallace and Drone Land Australia here. Today we're out in Western Victoria at a vineyard and we're doing some spray trials. So a spray trial is testing different chemicals with different rates and different applications. This is one of four trials. The whole purpose of this program is to work out what the minimum amount of fungicide that's required to be effective in combating a disease and preventing it. And today I'm going to walk you through the benefits of using manual plus mode. First thing we do, we begin. We come in, it's already in manual mode, but we want to go to manual plus, which is just next to it. And we come down, we want to pick our application rate. So today it's going to be 20 litres per hectare, which is around two litres per minute. A droplet size, so this is in micron. We're spraying a fungicide today, so we want to be around that 350 mark. So we apply. Our flight speed is going to be 10 kilometres. Our height above crop is going to be three metres and Roots Basic is seven. So a benefit of Manual Plus is that you can control the rate and speed. So no matter how hard you push the stick forward, it'll stick to its speed and keep the consistent flow rate coming out of the drone. Another cool key feature with the Manual Plus mode is course lock. Now, instead of trying to find a straight line with your hands, you can lock the heading of the T50 and it'll fly a straight line until you unlock the course. We've just moved down the road to our next row. Now here we're using 100 litres to the hectare for this run, and then we'll move up and use 50 litres to the hectare on the next row. So just before takeoff, I've flushed the previous fungicide we had in it with fresh water, put a new one in, and now I'm just getting it in the line. So as soon as we start the mission, the chemical will be in the line and ready to go. So the reason we've done the 100 litres per hectare row and the 50 litres per hectare row is to compare the drone and its application to its traditional way which they've done with a tow behind, behind their tractor and then we'll compare the results. Keep an eye out for a follow up video where we'll go through all today's results. As always, for more information go to droneland.au or check us on our socials.